Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today we're discussing an emblematic watch from a brand I adore. De Batun of Lauberson is arguably the most innovative and appealing independent in the burgeoning world of independent horology. Founded by David Zanetta and Denis Flageolet, the timepieces of De Batun are quite simply starships for your wrist. Every watch they make is a grail watch, and this DB25 Starry Sky is no exception. 44 millimeters in white gold, the timepiece is slender. 12.7 millimeters thick means it's only about as thick as a Rolex Submariner, so it can fit under a cuff easily. Though a 44, it's not a big bully. You can see on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, it wears quite easily across the wrist. At 51 millimeters, I can still recommend it for a wrist as small as 14 and a half centimeters circumference. The strap that's included is a slender bit. As the timepiece is thinner than expected, so too is the strap. It is a dark, large rectangular scale, black alligator leather strap, and you can see it's a semi-gloss finish. It has a folded edge, a monotone stitch, but the surprise is it's double gaiter with small round scale on the underside. That wears longer than calfskin that's typically used under a strap, so this has every intent of being a two, three, even four year strap by the material makeup alone. A simple ogival profile or torpedo or bullet-like end to the De Batun branded white gold pin buckle, and you can see that form recapitulated in the lugs themselves. One of the original styling cues from the 2002 DB1, you can see that cabochon-like ogival profile, the, the bullet-like lug end that re represents one of the longest lasting styling cues at a company that often mixes it up and changes everything. You can see the case of the DB25, anything but derivative of the famed floating lug DB28, and that's by design. They want to have a case that's more conventional for more conservative tastes and a more traditional fit, and that's what the DB25 is. It's a more versatile looking watch from De Batun. You can also see that the case itself is anything but monolithic, as the lugs are dramatically stepped out. There are character lines galore on the case flank. It's all of high polished, and how much do you love the drilled profile of the double knurled crown? God is in the details here. Now let's talk a little bit about the details. The dial features a two-part fire-blued titanium composition. You could see the outer toroidal hour track fire blued and then the center with several different blue and purple tones. This is by a patented method that De Batun and Denis Flageolet, the founding watchmaker, pioneered and this is exclusively their technique. You will not see it anywhere else. Now all of these little stars are actually white gold cabochon. So they are small white gold spheres that have been placed on the dial to create the image of the cosmos. At center you have hand arced Breguet style hands, well modified Breguet style hands, I should say they are De Batun's own hand, but you could see the image of the master Breguet in there, albeit in a modern paradigm. Now there is a spherical moon phase that features one half blued steel and one half white palladium, and then there is a quick set mechanism, let me see if I can engage it, there's a quick set mechanism that allows you to rapidly adjust that 360 degree spherical moon phase. The moon phase has a precision of 122 years. So this patented mechanism requires absolutely no correction once set within the life of the owner. Turn it all over, things get even more interesting. You could see the plate underneath the barrel bridge as well as the barrel bridge itself executed in black polished stainless steel. Yes. The entire movement is black polished. Not a screw, not a swan's neck regulator, the entire movement, and it gets better. The full balance bridge bracing against chalk features a consistently and completely mirror polished rounded profile, and you can see that it is shaft-like, rounded all the way, and then polished on every aspect to create a 360 degree wraparound mirror structure just for the balance bridge. Every edge, that is the edge of every bridge, is traditionally beveled and chamfered by hand to create a mirrored anglage. Though it looks space age, the finishing technique is all strictly traditional. Now let's talk about that balance bridge and all the tech you're getting. From the top down, Twin mainspring barrels, self-adjusting, that's a patented feature, with six days of power reserve. The balance wheel, a solid disc of silicon, patented in 2010, 
Debatun has had over six different balance wheel designs. This is the 2010 patent. The silicon is completely non-reactive to temperature or thermal fluctuation, so there will be no impact on the timekeeping of the watch as temperatures change. The outer rim is all of white gold. It is an aerodynamic balance as well, featuring fewer parasitic losses due to aerodynamic friction. You will also note that the polar moment is maximized by placing all of the mass in the white gold on the rim. Now look at the hairspring. You can see it is not circular. It's off-centered so that you can create the same concentric beating or centered mass of a Breguet overcoil with the durability of a flat hairspring. This too is patented and of the company's own design and manufacture. You can see just under my finger the silicon escape wheel, also of the company's own design and manufacture. And finally, the triple parachute. You can see there's shock protection on both sides of the balance bridge. This means that you have protection against shock on the edges as well as the Inca block on the center for the balance staff. It is extremely shock resistant. And finally, we have a power reserve indicator up and down just below the balance. That is a power reserve indicator. And you'll note as I wind the watch, that small blue indicator reserve de marche moves along. All of this 30 meters water resistant and no compromise in beat rate as this 29 joule movement beats away at 28,800 vibrations per hour. This is de Batun manufacturer caliber, manual wind naturally, 2105. It is the full package. Beautiful, technically advanced, and all in-house. It's unlike anything else out there. And that can describe just about any of the watches hailing from Lauberson. See this one and make it yours on the watch box.